Hi, I'm Caitlin Wiley, a PhD student at the University of Saskatchewan, and I'll be talking about my paper, How Points and Theme Affect Performance and Experience in a Gamify Cognitive Task, with thanks to my co-authors Sarah Vadress and Regan Mandrick, and to Anne Serkin-Swiger for funding our research. So, what are cognitive tasks, and why do they matter? Cognitive tasks are important tools that measure human mental functions, like attention, working memory, and visual perception. They're commonly used for research and mental health assessment. High quality, high quantity data from these tasks, comprised of information from large cohorts over time, is crucial for developments in psychology and related fields. Traditionally, capturing large scale data sets is challenging, time consuming, and expensive. However, advancements in technology, like the internet, have led to digital strategies in which tasks can be deployed remotely and automatically scored and evaluated. But there are still some problems with cognitive tasks. For example, this is a dot probe cognitive task, which allows researchers to study how attention is affected by different stimuli, in this case, different facial expressions. After being shown two pictures on the left and right sides of the screen, followed by a single dot on one side, participants are asked to press an arrow key to indicate where the dot is as the reaction time is measured. This happens over and over for dozens of trials. So you can see how one common criticism of cognitive tasks is that they're boring and repetitive. People aren't inclined to participate, and when they do, it's easy for them to be disengaged and not exert their full effort. But what isn't boring and repetitive are games. Making cognitive tasks more interesting through gamification holds the potential to both increase attention in the moment, leading to better data, and facilitate the long-term engagement of many people, leading to more data. In fact, many tasks have been gamified by adding things like points and fun graphics to traditional tasks. But few studies isolate individual game elements to understand their effects on data quality, Rather, tasks are often gamified by applying several elements at once. And studies that do isolate individual game elements have shown mixed results. There's little agreement on how typical gamification approaches affect performance on and engagement with cognitive tasks. To answer these questions, we investigated how two popular gamification approaches, points and theme, affect a typical cognitive task, in this case, the dot probe. We created four versions of the task, the basic task plus versions that included points and theme individually and in combination. So the basic task was designed as a typical dot probe task, just like we saw previously, with simple instructions at the beginning. The points version of the task used these same instructions, but during gameplay added reward and feedback elements. Participants now earned and lost points were given a score and could see their reaction times to each trial. Faster responses were rewarded with more points. The theme version used the basic gameplay without points, but added an introduction sequence. Participants played as a raccoon who was recruited by another raccoon to find their family's stolen paintings. The instructions for the task describe the story of an art thief, Zabat, who had stolen the raccoon family's art collection and hidden them in a cave. To mask his trail, he mixed the authentic paintings with inauthentic ones, and the only way to distinguish them was to look for a red seal underneath the paintings. After this, gameplay proceeded to the basic task. Finally, the last version of the task combined the points task and the theme task with the same narrative about the raccoons and then also the ability to score points during the task itself. So, some results. Uh, we recruited data through Amazon Mechanical Turk from 287 people using a between subjects design, with each participant being shown one of the four versions. We measured reaction time and error rate during the task, and also have participants complete the positive and negative affect schedule, or PANAS, before and after the task. We found that the addition of points resulted in faster reaction times, but also higher error rates. Points also increased positive affect, but there was no effective theme. Now, we wanted to understand why theme didn't increase experience in the same way that points did, 
So we designed a second follow-up study. For study two, we replicated the design of study one with two additions. We added an enjoyment questionnaire that was given before, during, and after the task, and also asked participants to complete the player experience inventory, or PXI, which measures 10 different constructs of experience. We replicated the results of study one with points decreasing reaction time and increasing error rate, that classic speed accuracy trade-off, and also increasing positive affect. In addition, we found that theme was associated with lower immersion and enjoyment overall. To break this down, enjoyment ratings collected right after the introduction sequence were higher when theme was included, so when we had that narrative about the raccoons. However, after gameplay, the theme only condition had the lowest rating of all, even below the basic task. These results suggest that the lower ratings weren't because the participants disliked the theme itself, but rather that the gameplay was dissatisfying. This is likely due to the heightened expectations created by the introductory exposition, and then disappointment when the gameplay failed to meet those expectations. Some other key results. Again, enjoyment was actually higher after the theme-based introduction, but dropped when gameplay failed to deliver on player expectations. Enjoyment of the game was higher when points were included. Points increased challenge and meaning on the PXI, whereas theme lowered challenge and meaning. But both points and theme did increase the clarity of goals and rules. So our takeaway from all this, gamification has the potential to increase the quality and quantity of data that can be collected from cognitive tasks. But game elements can't be used with the assumption that they'll always lead to better performance and experience. In fact, gamified tasks should align with players' expectations of a real full game. With that in mind, we encourage developing new methods for gameful assessment. In particular, we think that using the underlying principles of cognitive tasks while leveraging the full capabilities of digital games is a promising approach and hope to explore this in future work. Thanks for watching this talk and please read the full paper for more details.